I somehow completely forgot that Velma season 2 existed. Although I remembered that they renewed the show, the release of the second season completely escaped my radar. Now, ultimately that is a good thing. The only reason why this show was ever renewed was due to all the coverage of the first season. Granted, it was all negative coverage, but everyone flocking to HBO to watch this train wreck did give it a massive ratings boost. This time around, no one really cares for it anymore, and I do not think it will survive another bad season. While some in Hollywood have the ability to fail upwards, there is a limit. With that in mind, the next question becomes how good, or should I say how bad, the second season is. Unfortunately, things simply do not get better. I watched most of the first season, and people are not exaggerating about how bad it is. The common defense is usually that we need to expect something new. This is not your childhood Monster Inc. The truth is that this is not Monster Inc at all. While they originally advertised this series as an origin story for Velma and how she ended up in the gang, that narrative quickly changed. They completely butcher every single one of the Monster Inc crew. While this does not bother me too much, as I can simply write it off as a parody, the bad writing and the flat jokes just make everything worse. I think that lots of people could have looked past the changes if the show was at least good. That has always been the standard for deviating from the source material. If the changes are good, most people do not care. So, season 2 of Velma is more of the same, only slightly worse than before. Velma has a girlfriend now, and she spends a lot of time with her. Daphne has two gay mothers, and that is most of what I remember from her. There is also a genital killer on the loose, but the show even struggles to get that plot point correct. They are starting to lean toward Norville becoming shaggy, but that is just another plot point that seems to be falling flat. Then, they have Fred, who is supposed to be the leader of the gang. He is an annoying rich kid who is also mostly a fraud. If you have not picked it up by now, the lead crew is mostly complete disasters, except Velma, although she is a disaster in her own right. They also have not introduced Scooby yet. His absence in this season was really missed. I will say this. Although they completely changed Fred, his character is quite funny. There is something about the douchey rich kid that always gets me. I also think his voice actor is doing a great job. There are not many moments that you will be laughing. When Fred is on screen, it is one of the few moments where I find myself smiling at least a little bit. They also changed Velma a bit from season 1. They tried to give her a bit more emotion. Sadly, it just all falls flat. The plot is another sticky point for me. I have no idea what story they're trying to tell. It is all over the place and hard to follow. Velma is supposed to be solving mysteries, but it all takes a back seat. While the show did make a few slight improvements in some areas, they completely fell flat in others. In my opinion, they took some big steps backward, and ultimately, there is little reason for me to keep watching. I will be shocked if this show returns for another season. Then again, streaming services are hungry for content, and at this point, they will produce just about anything. Velma is the perfect proof of that.